Egg and embryo freezing are two different forms of fertility preservation. They're very different and it's important to really understand those differences. An egg is a single cell that has not yet been fertilized by sperm. When you freeze eggs, it only involves you, the individual. It is important to understand that when you go to thaw out those eggs to use them in the future, it's at that point that they're fertilized and turned into embryos. Just like in nature, we, we see the same phenomenon play out in the lab where not every egg fertilizes successfully and not every fertilized egg turns into an embryo and not every embryo that results is going to be genetically normal and capable of producing a healthy live birth. So when you freeze eggs, you're not really sure how many of those eggs are going to result um, in the desired downstream outcome. Um, so it's important to talk very specifically with your doctor about how many eggs one should freeze to feel confident about their outcome when coming back to use those eggs. When one freezes embryos, an embryo now has 100 to 200 cells. It's a fertilized egg that's been grown in the lab for about a week. And additionally, you can actually extract a lot of information about each individual embryo because embryos are capable of being genetically tested. So when you freeze embryos, you know a lot more about what you're actually freezing. A potential downside is that there's a lack of flexibility. You can't unfertilize an egg. So once you've fertilized eggs and turned them into embryos, there's no going back. Another major difference to note is that the thaw survival rates are slightly different for egg and embryos. Eggs have about an 85% thaw survival rate, but that thaw survival rate, or the odds of surviving the thaw, um, is very tied to the age of the egg and the health of the egg in general. We can predict how many embryos survive the thaw much more reliably. It across the board tends to be above 98%. So there is better thaw survival with embryos.